So we're here in Southern California on a pretty stormy weekend. There's a big swell coming into the beach and it's pretty windy out. And we're watching these pelicans and other birds soaring over the water and they're stay staying very close to the surface of the water and kind of swooping up over big waves. And if you've ever wondered why a pelican can fly so long without flapping its wings, it just seems to go forever. It's because it's using principles, the same ones that hang gliders use where they're using surface effect lift, they stay very close to the water, and that compresses and pushes the air together and creates a pushback for them. So they stay very close to the surface. And they're also using something called ridge lift, where when they come up over the back of the wave, they're encountering an updraft because the wind is blowing on top of this wave. So they're swooping up and gaining some height, which gives them potential energy, it gives them a height advantage. So let's see if we can catch some of these guys flying by over here. So I'm standing here with a walk-along glider. It's a, a small toy developed by a young kid named Tyler McCready who uh, invented this thing while just goofing around when he was about 10 years old. And uh, it's really simple. Uh, basically it's a little glider and what you do is, as the name implies, you walk along with this flat plate, just a piece of cardboard, and you're basically simulating a hill or a wave like what those pelicans were using to create an updraft. So this updraft will keep this plane airborne for as long as I can do it, and uh, for as long as I can walk. So let's give it a try here. Well, today we learned a little bit about ridge lift and how it helps pelicans stay aloft longer and how you can have fun with a walk-along glider. Next time we'll look at lithium polymer batteries. Those are cell phone batteries and how they can be dangerous and fun at the same time. See you then.